What is going on guys, welcome back to another Albion Online video. In this video I want to have a short guide explaining how laborers work in Albion Online. Laborers are a huge part of this game, especially to the mid to late game. A lot of people buy these laborers for the extra uh, yield or the extra resources they need to begin crafting or to refine resources. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started with laborers in Albion Online. To begin messing around with laborers, the first thing you're going to need is an island. I have explained to you multiple times how to get an island. All you need is at least 30 days of premium. Then you go to the island merchant in your city. You purchase the island and you can begin messing around with laborers. The second thing you're going to need is a house. I recommend and most people recommend for you to level up your house to at least a tier 5 or level 5 house. The reason being is you can actually have the maximum amount of laborers in the house beginning tier 5. So you can have the maximum amount of laborers which is 3 per house once your house is tier 5. This is a tier 4 house over here and if I want to start adding laborers to this house I can only add 2 laborers. But if I upgrade it to at least a tier 5, I can start putting uh, the maximum amount of laborers, which is 3. Once you upgrade your house to at least tier 5, you're just going to come outside the house and you can click on this paper note here. This will open the house inventory. You're going to scroll down until you see higher laborers and we can begin discussing the types of laborers. There are three types of laborers in Albion Online. We got the gathering laborers, we got the mercenary laborers, and we got the crafting laborers. Let's talk about the gathering laborers. There are six current gathering laborers in this game. We got the lumberjack, we got the stonecutter, we got the prospector, we got the cropper, and we got the gamekeeper. And finally, all the way down here, we got the fisherman. Once you hire these laborers and you give them the required resources, they will go out and start gathering raw resources. The gathering laborers, all we just said, the stone cutter, the prospector, the cropper, they will go out and gather raw resources. So raw ore, uh, just logs, they won't come back with refined resources. Then we have the mercenary laborers, and there's only one. We get the novice mercenary. What this would do is once you give them the required resources, they will go out and start killing mobs, and they'll return with some silver. Then we got the crafting laborers. These are the blacksmith, the fletcher, the imbuer, and the tinker. These will go out and bring back uh, refined resources. So the blacksmith will return metal bars, the fletcher will return leather, the imbuer will return cloth, and the tinker will return planks. You should decide which laborers you want to hire depending on what kind of activity you wish to do with the resources that you will get from hiring one of these laborers. For example, if you want to level up your refining, you might want to hire some gathering laborers because they will return some raw resources. If you want maybe some extra silver, you can hire these mercenary uh, laborer for that extra silver. And if you want to level up like crafting or sell off some refined resources, then you might want to level up your crafting labors. For this video, I'm going to hire one tinker, novice tinker. So it's going to cost you around a thousand silver, but I think there is a small uh, deduction if you have premium, I think maybe. Uh, 781 cost and when you click on it you will see that there's this little inventory pops out and it will tell you what kind of journals this specific laborer uh, will work with. I'll talk about journals in a little bit. So we're going to click higher and we're going to come inside the house and we can place our little laborer somewhere. So we're going to place it right here. It's going to cost us uh, this much. Again there was a global discount so we're going to pay it and we're placing down our little laborer and this will be our tinker laborer. This will return for us some planks. And let's talk about how these inventory and how these laborers actually work. I think the first thing we need to talk about are the happiness. Each laborer has a happiness. You can tell it by the bar up here. We got the sad face and the happy face. Every time you level or your laborer's happiness increases, they will yield a higher return rate. So we, clear, we click here on manage. We can see some of the happiness. The way that you increase the happiness of your laborers is by buying furniture for the house they're currently in. So for example, for the happiness for this tinker, it sets zero out of 100 because it has no bed. Uh, it says zero out of 100 because there's no table and zero out of 100 because there's no trophy. So to do this, I've actually bought a bed. So we're gonna place down a bed, a tier two bed, since this is a tier two laborer. We're gonna place it down here. And you will see that the happiness will actually increase because we now have a bed. So now the happiness just kind of went a little bit higher. Let's place down a table because he also requires a table for some happiness. So let's place it down right here next to his bed. And you will see 
that now we increased our happiness and uh, the we have the bed for the specific tinker um, and then we have the trophy I'll explain about trophies in a little bit but you can also buy a magical tome from the marketplace and I'm going to place it just uh, right here or so it really doesn't matter where you place it as long as it's, it's inside the uh, the little house you have in so we have five out of a hundred because we have a magical tinker a magical tome sorry and I'll explain to you exactly how trophies work but I think the next thing we need to talk about are the journals. So what are journals? Journals are these books that you purchase from a laborer. So for example, for the Tinker Laborer, I can purchase the Novice Tinker Journal. And then I can also purchase the Generous Trophy Journal. And I'll talk about trophy journals and trophies in a little bit. And what you do is you purchase these empty books. And what you have to do is you have to go out and do this journal specific activity and try earning some fame. And as you get fame, the book will start filling all the way into as a full book. So I have a full prospector's journal here. So to fill this Tinker journal, I would have to go out and start crafting stuff in the tool maker. And as I craft stuff in the tool maker, I need to get some fame. You can see how much fame you need here. I need 300 fame. I currently have zero. And as you do the activity, for example, for the, you know, to fill the Tinker's journal, I would have to craft some stuff in the tool maker. And as I craft stuff in the tool maker, I will get some fame for crafting. And that fame will go into this book and it'll start filling up until it's a full book. Once it's a full book, you can actually use the journal to fuel or to give to that tinker so i would come back here with a full tinkers journal and i will give it to him and he will begin uh doing that activity which is going out and getting me some planks one quick thing you do have to wait about 30 minutes for your labor to settle in so i have to wait another 18 minutes as well as i bought another or i hired another laborer this is the prospector this person right here will go out and give me some extra ore uh, so I can use that ore to level up my refining. So I do have to wait about 26 minutes and 18 minutes for these to settle in. But for now, I added another laborer. So what I have to do is I go to manage. And as you can see, he's not happy because we only have one bed. And I told you guys at the beginning of the video that there's a maximum of three laborers per house. So we only have two. Uh, well, only if you have a tier five house or higher. So... To do this, I actually have to place down another bed for the happiness to increase. So let's place it right next to his little friend here. And as you can see, if I place it down, his happiness will go up. And uh, all we're missing is the trophy, which we'll talk about trophies. And we'll also talk about uh, when these laborers are going to start increasing their happiness. So I actually waited about 30 minutes for our laborers to settle in. We got our boy David here, who is our prospector. And our boy Solomon here, who is our tinker. And now we can actually begin giving these laborers uh, their required journals so they can start doing some activities for us. So again, for our prospector here, for David here, we would need to give him a full novice prospector journal. So we have one full here. And for our tinker here, we would need to give him a full tinker's journal. I only have an empty one. I haven't filled this up. And what you do is you simply come here into the work tab. And where it says drop the journal, you would drop the full journal here. So I'm dropping it here and it will show us the yield and the possible returns. So for this journal and for currently for David, he will go out and start, you know, going out and getting some copper ore and he will return 20 to 21 copper ore in a time of 22 hours. So all of these laborers take 22 hours to do their work and they will come back with some possible returns as, you know, 20 to 21 copper. Also, you can see the yield. We have a 53% yield. The yield will increase as the happiness of the labor increases. So once we have, you know, David is full and happy, this laborer is just uh, extremely happy with the living conditions that he's currently in the yield for our returns will increase so that is what we get we can actually accept or decline but before that i want to talk about labor levels currently david and solomon our two laborers here are tier two are level two you can tell up here by the little two and then we're you know 75 uh kind of like you know xp whatever to get to tier three the way you level up these nerve these uh these laborers is by giving them activities to do, giving them jobs to do, and they'll come back and they will, you know, start leveling up. Everybody starts with tier two and everyone has to increase their laborers all the way to tier eight. One other thing, as your laborer like levels up, as he increases tiers, you also need to upgrade your house 
and your uh, furniture. So once you know this labor starts hitting tier six, tier seven, tier eight, I need to upgrade the house he's in. So he's a higher condition as well as the furniture. So I only have tier two furniture for our tier two laborers. So every time I level it up, I need to buy a tier three bed, a tier four bed, a tier five bed, a tier six bed, all the way to tier eight, as well as our table and as well as uh, all of the tomes, all the magical tomes or trophies that you can get for him. So if we come back here, there's one quick thing. There are a couple types of journals you can buy. You can buy the regular old prospector or the specific uh, kind of activity that you want him to do. For So for the tinker, it's the tinker journal. For the prospector, it's the prospector journal. But you have something else called the generous trophy journal. And what this does, if I bring it into the prospector here, uh, he will come back and return with a trophy. These are like trophies that you place inside your house. And this will increase the part of the happiness for the trophies. So these are the trophies that you add. So for example, we only have 5 out of 100 because we have one magical tome here. So what we can do is we can actually purchase a generalist trophy journal from the marketplace. You can also purchase it right here, generalist trophy journal empty and these are leveled up or you fill these journals by doing any kind of activity you can do whatever you want and the fame you get uh you will be into it'll go into this journal until it's a full trophy journal and what you can do is again you can give this to any kind of uh laborer as long as they're that tier so for example for a tier two generous trophy i need a tier two um labor which that's the lowest labor you can get and you drag it in and he'll go out and you know return in tw 22 hours with a handbook or adventure handbook which is a specific uh specific trophy there are other types there are specific generalist trophies uh so what you can get i actually didn't get one from the market but what you can get is a sp a, pro sp a prospector's specific trophy journal so you have to get prospector's uh, trophy journal and what this does is instead of getting a generalist tr trophy such as right here the uh the handbook that's a generalist trophy that means anybody will be happy for to have that specific trophy in the house you can get a prospector's trophy journal and come here give it to the prospector and he'll return with a prospector trophy and that will increase the happiness by a lot for prospectors that are in your house. So I don't want to do this because I have two uh, laborers. I have a tinker and I have a prospector. So what I want to do is, first of all, for the tinker, I want to give him a generous trophy. So I'm going to give him here. And he's going to return in 22 hours with a tier 2 adventure handbook. So what I have to do is you have to accept. And he's going to, you know, just go whatever, cheer, and he'll disappear. And then he'll return in 22 hours with that handbook. Uh, and that's pretty much how you activate it. As you can see, if you click on it, Solomon is in here right now. He'll return in 21 hours and 59 minutes. And when he returns, he will get some uh, some fame, some XP, so he can level up to tier three. And we will get a handbook. If we come here to our boy David, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give him the Prospector Journal, which is full. This is so he can get us some copper ore. And before I do that, I want to talk a little bit more about happiness. So the way happiness works is you don't necessarily get happiness immediately after you create your uh, your labor here. You have to wait at least 10 hours to reach the highest possible level of happiness in your current environment. So uh, we can get all the way up here. So we have to wait about 10 hours for uh, these laborers to, you know, look around the environment, get happy with the conditions they're currently living in. So what I do suggest is at the beginning, have some laborers, have like uh, at least one laborer out of your three, if you want to do the maximum, which is again, three per uh, tier five house. One of them go out and get a, uh, a trophy. So you can also buy trophies from the marketplace, but you can make a person go out, get a trophy, then he'll come back with a trophy, place it in the house, and then that will increase the happiness. And then you can have another two laborers do something else, some other activity like collecting ore or collecting logs or whatever. Uh, so that's how you increase. You have to wait 10 hours so um, the laborers will adjust to the environment and reach the highest possible 
level of happiness in their current environments. So yeah, you have to wait those 10 hours. So we're going to give this man, David, uh, the tier 2 novice prospector journal and he will return in 22 hours with 20 to 21 copper ore so we're going to accept and he's gonna get all happy and cheer and then he's gonna disappear and that is basically how laborers work especially and i want to talk about level tier 8 and tier 7 laborers are very critical to the game lots of guilds lots of people have these laborers go out and get some resources for them because it's basically a passive income from playing Alvin online these people will go out and get resources from you with you without you having to do uh, necessarily go out and get the resources yourself you do have to level up the journals but if you don't want to do that you can easily just purchase the journals from the marketplace sometimes if you do purchase the journals they're gonna be too expensive and it's better for you just to do the activity yourself for example this prospector journal cost me around a thousand silver to get it a full prospector oh i actually do have a prospect for trophy journal here uh, but this was the journal right here that if you give the prospector he will come back with a specific prospector trophy so i didn't know i bought one but there you go we do have one right here uh, but for a prospector he will come back with 20 copper and if i sell 20 copper it's not going to be necessarily a thousand gold sorry a thousand silver so i did lose some silver by buying a full journal from the marketplace so it sometimes it is better for you to go out and do the activity yourself to fill the journal but for this example i just went off and bought the tier 2 journal that's pretty much all there are some things you need to know for example it's good practice to uh keep some generous you know, you know journals make sure some of your uh your little laborers go out and get some trophies for you and then some of your laborers go out and get some resources for you to do with that being said that is pretty much all you need to know about laborers i may have missed one or two things if i did make sure you leave a comment letting me know i missed it and i'll make sure to pin the comment so other players or other uh viewers can go ahead and uh, read the misinformation that I missed if I did. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Comment below any suggestions for upcoming Albin Online content. I really want to thank you all for all the support I've been getting. This channel has been growing uh, incredibly fast. So it's all you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.